Mechanically attached roofing systems provide a lightweight and easy to maintain roofing system. This system is able to accommodate irregular roof configurations on a variety of roof decks. VersaGuard reinforced DPDM membranes offer building owners additional peace of mind with their increased durability and available puncture warranties. In a mechanically attached roofing system, the insulation is mechanically attached to the roof structure with fastening plates and appropriate fasteners. Then the membrane is also mechanically attached to the roof structure using fastening plates or fastening bars and appropriate fasteners. This system uses VersaGuard reinforced EPDM membrane. The mechanically attached roofing system is able to accommodate roof slopes up to 18 inches in 12 and can be installed on buildings up to 75 feet in height or higher with VersaCo approval. All VersaCo roofing systems are available with a standard 55 mile an hour wind speed warranty. The mechanically attached roofing system has an optional increased wind speed warranty up to 100 miles per hour. The mechanically attached roofing system begins with the installation of an approved substrate. Insulation is affixed to the roof deck by using VersaCo plates and fasteners. When fastening the insulation, follow the appropriate VersaCo specification. Only install the amount of insulation that can be covered by membrane in the same deck. Remove any debris from the roof deck. Place the insulation on the roof deck. It is a good practice to stagger the joints of the insulation. By doing this, the amount of thermal loss between the insulation boards is reduced. Insulation must be butted together with no gaps greater than 1 quarter inch. Follow the VersaCo approved fastening pattern. The typical pattern for a mechanically attached roofing system is one fastener for every eight square feet on a four foot by eight foot insulation board. On a four foot by four foot insulation board, place two fasteners in opposing corners, approximately 12 inches from the two sides. Install the plates and fasteners using a screw gun. Ensure the plate is tight to the insulation without overdriving the fastener. Continue this procedure until all insulation is fastened to the roof deck. For the required perimeter securement, position the 9 inch wide quick applied reinforced termination strip QARTS, at the perimeter of the roof between 42 and 54 inches from the edge of the roof. Fasten the RTS with the required VersaCo plate and fastener. These plates are positioned in the center of the strip and fastened either 6 or 12 inches on center. When a second RTS is required, it is positioned and fastened a maximum of 54 inches from the previous RTS. Polymer plates must be used for all steel deck applications. In the field of the roof, position the membrane over the substrate. This roll could be 8 or 10 feet wide depending on design requirements. Utilizing the pre-printed blue line on one edge of the sheet, install all of the required fasteners. The type of fastener and plate used will depend upon the type of deck. The fastener must be installed directly over the pre-printed blue line, achieving a minimum 3 inch wide splice from the center of the plate. End lap splices are set at a minimum of 3 inches. No mechanical securement is required at these locations. The sheets are typically fastened a maximum of 12 inches on center. After the sheet has been fastened in place, position the next roll of membrane overlapping the adjoining sheet to achieve a 6 inch wide minimum splice. Pull back the membrane to expose the QA seam tape. Apply primer to the underside of the membrane where the QA seam tape will meet the membrane. Once the primer has tacked off, peel the poly back off of the QA seam tape. Roll the membrane at the seam area. Complete all splices following standard splicing procedures. There are three details which require additional membrane securement. The pre-molded pipe seal, the field fabricated pipe seal, and the quick applied pourable sealer pockets. These three details require the use of a 2 inch seam fastening plate located no more than 12 inches from the detail. 
Round penetrations less than six inches in diameter only require four fasteners and plates. For pipes over six inches in diameter, seam fastening plates must be placed 12 inches away and 12 inches on center from the penetration. Secure the two inch seam fastening plate to the substrate. Apply Versico EPDM primer to the membrane substrate and overlap the plates with quick applied cover strip or quick applied overlayment strip. 